Good evening, and welcome to another segment of Astonishing Interviews with Dr. Finificus. Dr. Finificus. I am, but of course, Dr. Finificus. If you are just tuning in to our program, we have been speaking with Justin Hansen. His passion for sustainable, measurable standards in the energy, water, transportation, and building sectors has surely lit a fire under my rear. <laughs> we now know that you first heard about EE Global during a conversation you had with Megan Campion. Megan Campion, that's it, right there. At the Green Campus Summit. Since then, you have been trying to figure out a way to make it to DC for this conference. Could you please inform us why you want to go so badly? That's a great question, Doctor. I've been trying so hard to find out a way to go to EE Global because of the keynote speakers and all the workshops that they have to offer. Just ravishing. Just the ravishing speakers like Robert Dixon, who is the global head of efficiency and sustainability at Siemens Industry. We have people like Dr. Joe Ting, uh, Jell, not sure if I pronounced his name right, but he's the Minister of Energy from Ghana. Uh, I hope that he'll give a, give a brand new perspective of energy crises throughout the world. Mmm, my bosom is wrapped with intrigue. It is a lot to absorb, Dr. Fernificus. The workshops are also diverse and range from transportation to buildings to industry and utilities to urban planning to consumer end use. <laughs> right up your alley, as they say. It is right. There's 20 different workshops, and you can only go to five because of time restrictions. Oh, do tell more. Um, it's going to be hard to figure out which ones are most important to me, but I think I can solve this crisis by meeting a lot of people um, at the event so that afterwards we can chat and kind of share information about what we have learned in each of our, each of our workshops. <laughs> Splendid lad, just splendid. Three days of jam-packed information. Tell me, do you look forward in recouping at the hotel after each day? Ah, oh, doctor, doctor. That, that just would not be making the most out of the trip. I really want to capitalize on this opportunity and reach out to different leaders and organizations like Sustain Us, the American Council for an Energy Efficient Economy, the World Resource Institute, this the Institute for Sustainable Commun Communities. <laughs> there are also many meetup groups whose foundations are built on the same principles as green campuses. That's energy efficiency, water efficiency, and green workforce. Justin, you can't do that in three days. Well, you're absolutely right, Dr. Fernifkis. There's no way I could do this in three days. But if I were to fly in to D.C. on the 7th, which is the Friday before the event, I would be able to stay at my cousin's house for that weekend. Now, I would be able to set up meetings with different leaders of these organizations that I spoke about. I would be able to get a tour of American University. I'd be able to speak with different, um, different presidents of student organizations on that campus. Oh, brilliant, Justin. Just brilliant. Connect the East Coast Drive with the West Coast spirit. Oh. We'll return shortly after a quick segment from our sponsors. Get out of here. Checkmate. Oh! Hello. Hopes are soaring, Justin. Hopes are soaring. I like to hear that. But how do you plan on benefiting from this conference? Yeah, you will. You know, Doctor, I, I, do, I do have high hopes. Um, there's so much information to be absorbed at this conference. There's so many like-minded people to create relationships with that will hopefully be lasting one. This isn't just a benefit for me either. It's a benefit for every intern, every employee of Green Campus. Um, everybody will be able to log on to my blog. This is what I want to do. This is what my life has been molded around. And this is what I want to mold my career around. You know, I couldn't have said it better myself, Justin. 
share my experiences, they integrate knowledge from their experiences to my life and my career and improve Green Campus. It reminds me of an early story from my childhood about the musky rabbit and his digging hole. <laughs> Don't you dare do that again. <laughs> oh, Justin, you're off your rocker. Doctor, there's... Doctor. What is that you have there? Is that... Is that the candy cane in your mouth? Oh, sorry about that. Um, well, there you have it, folks. This man is undeniably insane. At least this is what the general public thinks. Justin seems to believe that he can change the world, which urges society to check off the delusional box on his diagnostic form. People generally do not want to come to terms with their destructive behavior, and would prefer to continue their lives shadowed by a veil. <laughs> I've known him for the past 23 years, and his determination to succeed frightens the Jabez out of me. His drive to expand his mind beyond the confines of conventional education sends him eagerly to events like E Global. With bright eyes and an open mind, this will not only benefit him as a human being and as a professional, but it will have a lasting impact on society for the next one billion years. Crunches and crunching noises in the background. Zip it. Sorry about that, Justin. My little midget friend that I play chess with is eating banana chips. Exhibit A. Pablo. <laughs> Scurry along and fetch my ketchup. <laughs> <laughs>